A young sick girl could open the door to legalizing medical marijuana in Mexico. Her case is the first of its kind in a country waging a bloody war on illegal drugs. CCTV's Martin Markovitz reports. For eight-year-old Grace Elizalde, marijuana may be the only thing that can ease her pain. She suffers from epileptic seizures, as many as 400 a day, and is confined to a wheelchair. Her parents hope that a liquid derivative form of cannabis called cannabidiol might be the answer. But because medical marijuana is illegal in Mexico, Grace's parents can't buy it. She has the mind of a six-month-old baby. She depends on us for everything. If she's able to get access to it and it slows her epileptic seizures, it's going to greatly help her quality of life. A recent federal court order, however, has given the okay for Grace's family to import the medicine from the United States. Grace would be the first person to ever get medical marijuana legally in Mexico. The Ministry of Health has assured Grace's family that they would carry out the court order despite the agency's belief that marijuana has no medical value. Gary Zabiki, a psychiatrist and medical marijuana proponent, believes Grace is a trailblazer for the movement in Mexico and has no doubt that once the government sees an improvement in her condition, the laws will change. We are pretty sure about a few facts, and one of them is that it has anticonvulsive properties and it, it's been used all over the world. So uh, we want to help Grace. We want to advance medical science. We want also to give liberty and freedom to the physicians who are treating patients. Despite Mexico City reforming its drug laws by decriminalizing small amounts of marijuana, the Peña Nieto government, in midst of a high-profile drug war, has been against medical marijuana. Mexico City resident Jose Reyes agrees with the government's policy, despite polls showing more than 70 percent of Mexicans support medical marijuana. I don't agree with the girl using it. People start with marijuana and then they finish with cocaine, heroin. That, in the end, makes them miserable. It hurts the brain and the body. Then they can't live without it. But for Grace's family, no opposition will stop them from getting their daughter the best medicine possible. If the health secretary helps us, I know my daughter will have a bit of health the best. CCTV, Mexico City.